All right, I'm back out here again. Today is January 4th, and uh, it's the beginning of uh, day one of my five-day vacation I have here post-holidays. This morning, I come out here, I got some skins, inboard skins, these guys right here, on the right wing and the left wing. The ground works well for my fuel senders. Uh, that's what's in that compartment, along with my, uh, uh, my fuel line coming out. And the fuel's been sitting in that for weeks now, almost a month, and it's not leaking. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and seal that part up this morning. And maybe this afternoon I'll go work on my cowling. And I'll show you what I plan on doing to my cowling here in a little bit. I got the right side finished, but uh, left side I ran out of rivets. <laughs> I have some more at the house, so I'm gonna have to run over there and get some more rivets. Still day one, came back out here, um, had some more rivets. Went ahead and finished up the left wing over there. And uh, while I was out here, went ahead and riveted this plate on for the pitch trim. Uh, installed my cotter pin and put the top four rivets in for my, tent, my uh, trim servo. And uh, so the trim part's done on here. And uh, next, I'll probably go ahead and uh, safety pin my elevator hinge up in here. I already have a hole in it. I just got to put a little safety wire through it, tie it off on both sides. Hi, day two of uh, my uh, vacation. And uh, out here working on the plane. Got quite a bit done yesterday. Uh, put some covers on the pitch trim servo. Safety wired my elevator hinge pin so it keeps it in place along with the rudder hinge pins. There's a little hole you drill in the hinge pin or the uh, hinge itself just so the hinge pin don't fall out. Anyway, all that safety now, so that's great. I went ahead and went around the airplane, made a list of things that still need to do just so I can keep on, on task here. Uh, the inboard wings, uh, that skin is now all riveted in place. And uh, I went ahead and ordered some rivets from Aircraft Spruce and uh, a compass. I, haven't, I don't have a compass in here yet. And uh, today what I plan on doing is safety tying the bolts that go back underneath here uh, where the nose strut is, make sure all my control rods are tight, uh, everything's in place there. I know there's some cotter pins on the rudder pedals I still need to put on, so I'm going to do all that today. Also at the house, uh, I am working on the bottom cowling. I am uh, making a, uh, a little scoop, a re kind of a, re a reverse scoop just so I can have maybe better airflow into my radiator. But anyway, I'll uh, show you that whenever the uh, cowling uh, gets finished. I'll make a video of that if it works. If it doesn't, you won't see it. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next time. I had a five day plan because I had five days off and I did several things on those five days, but nothing really noteworthy to film the show. A lot of it was uh, tightening up all my rudder, uh, uh, nuts for the rudders, the cotter pins, placing those in, bending those over, uh, tightening up a few bolts on my control rods going to my nose wheel, just getting all that final tight uh, to where I need it. And then uh, s printed out some stickers for my experimental sticker that I need on my Cricut machine at home. Uh, end numbers as well. Uh, went through several of those to try to find out which one I want, which one works well, or which ones I like or don't like. Um, Behind in here and underneath the uh, the access hole down there where my header tank is I have a lot of wires coming together Everything kind of joining up right there and I have an aft uh, ground block So I have all these wires joining right there and going to the front and I had used um, Little clips I had made on my 3d printer with some double-sided mounting tape and those had already came loose <laughs> to secure the wires. So I had to come up with a different method because it looked awful back in there. Uh, one so. concern I do have as I was looking at all that is I do have some, a few wires running underneath where some of the fuel line goes off my header tank into the little manifold. I hope that's not gonna be a factor. I know standard practice is not to run wires underneath fuel. And uh, it's just, mainly my aft uh, grounding block where I have a few wires running underneath that. I know, I hope the inspector don't say anything bad about that or if I, if I need to change that, <laughs> it's gonna add a couple more months or more to this build if, I, if he comes out here and says, yeah, that's not gonna work. 
So I, I hope that's okay. Again, I don't, I try not to do that, but in this situation, it's just such a confined area. I've been working a lot on my cowling. Uh, the bottom cowling, I'd made a scoop. So maybe put more air to my radiator. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Anyway, I've been spent a lot of time on that. I'm working on my top cowling all at the same time. And, uh, I just need a safety wire, my little, uh, little turnbuckles. I'm going to do that maybe tomorrow. We'll see. And, uh, man, I need to call the inspector. I, I haven't even done that yet. So, uh, anyway, I need to get a video of how it's been a while. Speaking of a bunch of small stuff, um, I hadn't even tested out these little drain valves yet. Um, I had a little, uh, tester, uh, I've had for 20 plus years and, uh, I looked in my flight bag. I couldn't find it anymore. So uh, we're going to see if this one works. I had to buy this guy from Spruce. And uh, see if I got any, I don't know, debris in the tank or see if there's any water in the fuel. Uh, again, I probably won't use this fuel anyway for my first flights. It's a premium gas, but I used it for my fuel calibrations and it was all over the place. And I'll probably dump it in my vehicle at some point. But, uh, oh, it's dripping, don't leak. I know sometimes these little, I think these little seals up in there can get crud. You get crud underneath them and sometimes you got to replace the seals. But uh, anyway. All right, going to try to. Uh, go ahead and safety wire my turnbuckles here. I have uh, one on each side for the rudder, then two inside the access hole. I figured I'd try these out first since they're easier to access. Uh, see if I can get some technique down. I have some 40 thousandths uh, safety wire, stainless steel safety wire. Went ahead and double checked my cable tensions. Uh, the uh, planes require uh, 30 pounds and uh, I have these uh, plus or minus five and I have these about 35. I figured they might stretch and loosen in time. So uh, maybe they'll be down to 30 here after, you know, a little while. So I've considered doing a partial polish slash vinyl wrap on this airplane and i'll definitely have it inspected flying before i actually complete all of that and uh, i'm just playing with different uh polishes i've had in the past and i just bought some of the mother's polish i've read about online but uh, i know nuvi i guess is the uh, gold standard in polish but uh that's probably why i'm not finishing my airplane because i i keep playing around and doing stuff like this because it's kind of fun actually so uh i'm gonna go ahead and uh try the metal law i did the other two already and then we'll get a comparison uh once we're all done, I'm going over these uh, two different times here. I got probably too much this time. Okay, I'm done with my uh, two rounds of polishing. Uh, again, Flitz, Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish, and then Metal All Aluminum Polish. And I might have bought this at like uh, Sun and Fun or Oshkosh. So they might have had a vendor there. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, definitely, there's a first, second, and third place. Uh, actually... Flitz is kind of expensive. Mother's is like only six bucks. I don't know how much. I can't remember how much this one is, but I bet it's pretty expensive. First, second, third place. Um, again, subtle differences here, but this one definitely has more of a more pop to it for just going over it twice than the Flitz. Flitz is pretty good, but it. it I don't. I think Mother's for the price difference. Mother's definitely wins, and there's a little bit more clarity on this one. Metal all was hard to use. I, <laughs> I worked hard on this one, trying to get it to work, and it just. It's worse than anything. And I'm gonna see if you guys can take a pitch, take a look here and see if you can tell the difference. You might not be able to, just in the camera, probably not actually. But anyway, there's one, there's mothers, and then flits is like nothing. Anyway, may clean your may clean your aluminum a little bit maybe, but mothers uh, may win for the price and get a Walmart for like six bucks. So, so it's about 7.5.
<laughs> oh, it's been a lot of sanding. I'm almost done with this, I believe. Uh, put a lot of uh, I put a lot of uh, filler in here, a little lightweight filler. Sanded some down. I'm going to have to put some more lightweight filler in here and uh, sand that down. Then put some primer on here. But it's uh, looking pretty good. Just a lot of work. <laughs>